Hello, welcome to this channel. If this is your first visit, please subscribe. This will help promote the channel and offer it to other potential viewers. If you like the contents, then hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Ringing the bell will ensure that you are notified when we next release a video. Please leave a comment. Comments and new ideas help us to improve. Compass Drawings – Fun with a Compass Crackers and the teddy bear's pal Oscar usually plan their walks just using a map to see where they want to go and what places they will pass on the way. They also sometimes use a compass and the other bears have been asking to be shown how a compass works. Harry was sure that he knew that it was used to draw circles – but Oscar explained that for drawing circles, he would use a pair of compasses, not a compass. Harry hadn't known there was a difference. Crackers sat them all down so he could explain what a compass was for. A compass is a tool for finding direction. A simple compass is a magnetised needle swinging on a short pin in a round case. The coloured end of the needle always points north because the earth is one huge magnet with two poles, one at each end, the north pole and the south pole, though the magnetic poles are slightly to one side of the actual poles, and the magnetised needle will line up with them. The round case sits on a flat piece of see-through plastic. One very important thing is that a compass may give false readings if you use one near metal objects such as mobile phones, keys, wristwatches, etc., as these things will deflect the magnetic needle. The case can be turned round in a complete circle and is marked with lots of little lines and some letters. N is for North, S is for South, E is for East and W is for West. Although once you know where North is, you can work out all the other directions yourself. If you imagine a line between the North and the East, that would be northeast, And for a line between the South and the West, that would be Southwest. The bears soon got the hang of it. For their first lesson, they had to hold the compass flat in their paws and wait for the needle to stop moving. Then they turned the compass case around gently until the letter N on the ring was lined up with the coloured end of the floating compass needle. If they then lined themselves up so that the needle was pointing straight ahead of them, they were facing north. That meant that directly behind them would be south, and to their left would be west, and to their right would be east. To start them off with something fun to do, Crackers split them into two groups and gave each group a sheet of paper with instructions on it, together with some string, some tent pegs and a compass. They went out into the garden and started off by making sure they were facing north. The instructions told them how many paces to take and in which direction. They laid the string down on the ground as they paced, securing it with a tent peg at every change of direction. These were the instructions for the first group. Four paces south, four paces west, four paces north, five paces east, one pace north, six paces west, one pace south and then one pace east. When they looked back, they were very surprised to see a drawing that looked just like the side view of a box with a lid on it. How clever was that? They were all extremely delighted. 
Then Custard noticed that if he stood facing south, the drawing looked like a top hat. How about you try it out too? You can use something other than string to make your drawing. If you're outside, ask an adult if it is okay for you to use something like birdseed or grain. If you're inside, you could even draw it out with a pencil on squared paper, using one square length for each pace. And of course, you must have a compass. Then try this one, which the second group did. Ten paces north, two paces east, two paces south, two paces east, two paces north, two paces east, two paces south, two paces east, two paces north, two paces east, two paces south, two paces east, two paces north, two paces east, ten paces south, fourteen paces west. What have you drawn? Send your answers back on the feedback form here. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to subscribe, like and comment. For those who already have, many thanks.